Hi Cancer Signs, welcome to your weekly energy reading for November 18th through the 24th. So if you want to go straight to the reading, go ahead and find the timestamp that is in the description below. Um, and for those of you who are sticking around, thank you very much for listening to these messages. I appreciate your time and energy and those of you who are returning viewers, thank you for subscribing and joining me here. If you are new, welcome to the channel. Um, feel free to join if you were, if you would like to subscribe. Um, I am going to be doing this weekly reading a little bit different than the last ones. I usually like to go beginning, middle, and end of the week, but I really feel we're just going to do some overall messages for cancer this week. So, hope you all enjoyed this reading. Um, and for any of you who would like to book a reading with me, please check out my booking site, sunsunmushy.com, to look at the information there. Um, I also have Patreon if you want to check me out on Patreon as well as my Instagram account and as always there are donation links down below for any of you who um, would like to do an energy exchange donation. So yeah, thanks for listening to all those. Those are all in the description. Um, <coughs> uh, nah, I'll just leave it at that. No, I'll, I'll finish the messages. So. Booked readings are actually on sale right now for 25% off until November 22nd, so there's that. And then I am also doing a giveaway for anyone who's interested in the giveaway event. So anyone who's booking readings with me throughout November and December, you are automatically entered to this giveaway, and I announce winners on January 1st. If you book multiple readings, you are given multiple entries, um, and it's just a small giveaway for like crystals, Palo Santo, it's just thanks for positive energy and for a really like a thank you as well as like a good energy fresh start for the new year. So, yeah. So hopefully you found the timestamp. We're going to start at 2.22. We're going to just start off with any sort of guidance for you, Cancer Science. We're just going to start with anything to just keep a keep an eye out for this week. Ooh, a win-win outcome is forecast. This is just reassuring you, Cancer Science. Um, everything is working out in your favor. Everything is turning out how it should. You're doing an amazing job. So that's really good. as well as confidence is your key to success. So yeah, I feel like there's not really much um, going on in terms of like feeling, like in terms of like needing to align. Like I feel like your energy is actually quite balanced now, Cancer Signs. You've worked really hard. You've gone through quite a lot. And now at this point, in certain ways, it's like a straight shot to your manifestations. I feel like things are going to be very positive and they're and very different for you um, throughout March all the way throughout like August like 2020 I think is going to be a very positive year and you have set yourself up for amazing success for 2020 so that's what I'm seeing and that's kind of the theme coming up for this week letting you know that like this is another week like it might be kind of slow moving but like lately, just throughout 2019, has not been the easiest, but you've got this. Any sort of shadow energies you might be experiencing this week, we've got the Three of Cups and the Son of Cups. As a shadow energy, this is saying maybe some shadowy things that you've been experiencing is time away from companions or loved ones or friendships. Um, and that you've been finding that energy from within you and knowing that that support and love is always within you and that you're never really alone. So that is the shadow energy you're working through this week. Um, <coughs> I'm getting you don't really need much advice about that. Like that is something you might have been working through a lot. You've been working through finding companionship during your alone time, finding that from within. Um, and also finding the right crowd for you. Some of you out there listening, it's like 
hanging out with the wrong crowd, so to speak, hanging out with energy that does not fully appreciate you, um, but learning the lesson there and learning that there's something to take from that, something to take from those experiences. So that is your shadow energy. Getting a light energy this week, so something that will be very clear to you as a blessing throughout the week. We've got four of pentacles. And the five of pentacles, wow. Something that's coming through is a light energy. <coughs> it is sort of that message of um, the wrong crowd or not the... Some of you maybe have yet to even meet these connections that you're looking for. Or some certain ones that are upcoming. This is saying like your, your light message this week is that you're letting go of feeling... Uh, alone basically you're like or um let me rephrase that you're like leaving a situation that doesn't serve you so that you can provide your time and energy to someone who really could like use your support right now or at some point in this week there's like someone out there that would actually appreciate your energy and what you give and provide. And then this person like benefiting from that will be the right type of connection that gives back to you as well. So I just see you're stepping away from those energies that did not really provide you anything of physical substance. <coughs> yeah. And you're going towards somebody who appreciates your physical, what you have to provide, and also will reciprocate and actually has something to give back to you that will benefit both of you. It's like they're waiting. It's like you have four coins. They have five coins. And when you show up with your four coins and they have their four coins and just like simply they feel like they don't have any coins just because they're alone, boom, when you show up, they realize they actually have plenty and then they have one extra coin to spare. And then they can bring it to both of you and you work together. This is kind of like a business partner, a team member. Um, it can be a romantic partner for any of you who resonate with that. <coughs> Less so that last one, but more so some sort of companionship or someone that you find true, genuine, unconditional love and respect between the two of you. So that's kind of what's coming through as your light message. Let's go ahead and see something to let you know in regards to this situation with that individual or with the, yeah, that individual. Sedna, infinite supply. You were supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. So this is saying like, don't get too worried. Any of you listening are like, oh, what if I don't meet that person? Or what if I don't have time to Go to that person who like I want to go to or go to the direction that I want to go in. It's like you are going in that direction actually. You have infinite energy. You are supplied at all times. You have what you need at all times. And if you work through it and you work towards getting there, even if it takes this week or next week or sometime further, you will get to this place. <coughs> But I think it'll be sooner. I think it is coming through this week. So a lot of you really will be providing something to someone who really appreciates it. This could even be a stranger that you help. It could be someone that you just interact with, like, just briefly. Seven of Cups and the Death card. But it is going to be a situation that does sort of change things for you and brings an end to any confusion. Anything that's been holding you back, anything that you've been unsure or confused about, or if you've had many different choices to have to make, I'm getting like, boom, death comes in, wipes that out, and now there's a very clear path forward, which is to go towards this abundance and this happiness, even if it means going at it alone for a while. That is a message kind of coming through as well. Trust yourself. You are wise, Cancer Signs. You've got this deep truth. 
and trust that you actually have a lot to provide for. And this message is saying to kind of focus in on that shadowy energy this week. And the owl, yeah, break through those illusions because it's not true. Hawk, messenger bird. Um, bring truth to some individuals or to somebody specific. So I do feel like you are going to be communicating with somebody who really will benefit from your communication. That's kind of what I'm getting here. I really feel that's the message. The high priestess, this is the intuition. Um, this is even something that you can communicate through a spiritual plane. You might just telepathically, just by knowing, just by learning whatever you're learning. I do get some of you, even if you don't have a chance to reach out or meet up with this other like-minded individual or business partner or friendship or whatever, I do feel like it's connected to friendship because the Three of Cups being there. Even if you don't have the chance to really meet up in the physical plane this week, I am getting your connection is so strong deeply connected through the moon through energy of water that um, the message will be delivered you will help this person anyways and this person is patient and the two of you I, I see a reunion and this is something I'm resonating with so seven of wands there are some challenges there yeah these are meant to happen right now you're both going through what you need to go through there, I really am getting two energies here. Um, it could be multiple energies. It could be multiple friends, too, of course. But I do feel this is veering towards like two, like a business partnership. The energy got pretty specific earlier. The King of Pentacles. There's just a lot of even numbers and twos coming through, like this hawk. Now I see the butterfly, which is about transformation. This is like a relationship that is transforming. And this is like a very spiritually connected relationship. Every connection is, you know, spiritually connected. But I mean, this is a deep spiritual connection, um, like a soulmate or some sort of, you know, someone that means a lot on your journey. Because again, the shadow energy was about being around more shallow friendships, more shallow energy that there is friendship and love there. But as a shadow energy, it's not a pure true reflection of you for whatever reason these energies do not see you a hundred percent for the beauty that you are or do not appreciate you for the 100 percent beauty that you are so i'm just getting like that's why this relationship is really important to you because this connection does and so for any of you have who have not met someone like that on your path um though i think many of us have but if if you feel like you've lost those connections or that you're never going to get a connection like that ever again or something like that. This is indicating you're very much going towards another connection like that again. <laughs> you are going to meet that kind of partnership or relationship. Aside from this being about business or something to offer or a friendship, I do think down the road this is something more substantial as a relationship romance-wise for any of you who do want that on your path. This is saying a win-win outcome is forecast, which is saying... If you have a big goal, like you want that romance partner, this is saying it's a win-win because if you meet someone that's more platonic now, not only is that what you're looking for, but it's also evidence that you will, that you're a step closer to meeting that partner down the road. And then vice versa, if you're looking for just companionship right now and you find that, that will be a sign that you're looking, oh wait, I think I already said that. If you meet like someone special, like a romantic partnership, that will also be an indication that you are finding that genuine friendship is for you down the road. It can work either way. Um, it works in all relationships. If you can find one relationship that genuinely treats you with respect, you can find that in any other form of a label, whether it's romance, career, friendship, family, all of those. So, yeah, this is a week dedicated to all that kind of energy. I do think this is going to take more time with that seven of wands being like these are specific challenges you're going through but i do feel this energy is quite fast especially with that messenger bird so if we're going to look at the pace of this manifestation let's call the pace of this union happening if we're going to look at the speed of that energy how fast might that be manifesting for those of you it could be multiple answers we got the hermit 
it depends on you, your journey, your spiritual quest. Um, you do feel like you've got certain things that you want to pace yourself. So it's, I feel like you're not in a huge rush for all of these things. And the Wheel of Fortune. So it is kind of going to happen pretty swiftly. It will happen really quick when you do find what it is that you need to find within yourself. Um, but it is up to you for how long that might take for your own individual journey. But it's all going to work in divine timing and everything is happening uh, right for you. So I am getting like, you feel like this week might be too soon for certain events to manifest. But this week might be just enough for you to um, unlock a few other things. So it, it's really soon, but I do feel it's past this week for a lot of you. And then maybe for a small few of you, uh, you might feel like some very quick energy manifest this week. But I, I again, I feel for the majority of you, it's going to be a little bit spanned down the road, perhaps at the end of November. Yeah. So thank you all for listening. I hope you resonate with those messages. Much love to you all. Have a good week, everybody. And I will talk to you all next time. Take care.